Welcome back at 643 and more than two years have passed since Western New Yorkers lost a popular Italian restaurant. Carmine's burned down in July of 2015, right during the Taste of Buffalo from a devastating kitchen fire. But this afternoon, they'll be opening their doors again in a new location. Never Stephanie Barnes takes us inside. On the corner of this East Amherst business complex sits Carmine's Italian restaurant. Wafts of Italian seasonings, sauces, and pastas coming from within. You wouldn't know that just more than two years ago, Carmine's looked like this. The smell, I'll never forget the smell. It's really devastating to, you know, a fire is just, it changes you, changes my whole outlook. In July of 2015, Carmine's owner Kelly Jacoby's life took a turn. Her business literally crumbled. Kelly tells me a grease fire started in the kitchen, quickly spread to the rafters, then the attic and an adjoining dining room, leaving the East Amherst Italian eatery destroyed, cooking and catering off the table. And all of a sudden it was gone. And the rebuilding process and getting back to where it was isn't an overnight thing. Not an overnight thing. Kelly and her son Vincent say they now know that all too well. They hoped to reopen Carmine's within a year. They had insurance and assumed they would get help from that. But weeks turned into months and they tell me they are still in a lengthy litigation process with their insurance company. After the fire, I mean, I cried every day for six months. But they found a workaround. They were able to sell their previous property to Andrews Jewelers and purchase this spot about five miles from the original, still on transit, but north of Casey Road. And so two years and a few months later, we're here inside Carmine's 2.0, as they like to call it. I'm trying to bring some of that feel back and I, that's why I wanted to uh, add the mural in there, recreate it. A fresh new look, but with the old family feel. The menu will also look familiar to returning customers. It's the same chef in the kitchen, whipping up classics like lasagna or spaghetti and meatballs. Though again, you will find a few new items. Kelly is determined, she says, to see this as a growing experience for the restaurant. I guess things happen for a reason. I hope that people love the new Carmine's 2.0. Now, Kelly had a partner in Carmine's before it burned down. Shortly after the fire, he broke off to open his own place, and that is now Giacobbi's downtown. Carmine's had a soft opening last night for friends and family and makes its grand reopening at 4 this afternoon. We will have all those details and the new address up on our website, WGRZ.com.